get here with something brand new from Tech Class, the MP800C PCI Express NVMe SSD. Now this is slightly different than what you would expect. For 2018, this is going to set the standards on value entry level SSDs like this one. I've got the 240 gigabyte model. Look at the specs right there. This is meant to be blazing fast for a um, lower cost um, SSD. Now what stands out when you look at this box, yes it is in Chinese or, or Mandarin there, but uh, it does come with the manual in English. It's the silicon motion controller really that is going to make a difference because it's using this new HMB technology. Okay, But in the box, like I said, comes with your English uh, manual there. Three years warranty on this, so they stand behind their product. You know, pretty basic standard uh, installation steps, nothing out of the ordinary. Quality control passed. And in the box, very nice. They packaged it very well, unlike other SSDs that I've re you know, received in the past that uh, are just slapped in there. This one here comes in a nice little um, static-free bag, as you can see right there. And also, they included a screw. Okay, I I've seen that uh, some don't include that screw, so it's nice to have that as well. Now, this one has a heat sink. Okay, so again, that's an additional bonus. Look at that. It does look quite nice. And um, that silicon motion controller that it has inside, like I said, is using this HMB technology, which basically is DRAMless. It doesn't use the DRAM anymore on the SSD. It uses system memory RAM to cache the translation tables. Okay, so that's the difference here. Microsoft uh, Windows 10, the Fall Creators update, and go and f and further has support for that. And basically what this is doing is it's using algorithms to detect the data addresses and stores only the most frequently updated table data in the system memory. And it gets rid of that DRAM to DRAM controller uh, communication that uh, standard SSDs and NVMEs have today. It still uses the 3D NAND technology, the flash technology, by the way. So on my benchmarks here in Windows 10, I have it installed right here. You can see the Addo Disk benchmark is concurring with their specs. Actually, it exceeds a little bit of, of that on the read with over 2,000 megs per second there on the read and definitely almost 1,300 megs per second on the write. The Anvil shows us also that it concurs with the specs and uh, the IOPS, the operations per second there. Wow, we're talking about this going out the roof. So, I mean, this is really fast considering, again, that it is meant to be an entry-level value um, SSD, but giving you that enthusiast uh, speed, which is really nice. I mean, you can install your Windows 10 on here, for example, use that as your boot drive, and then install uh, other stuff on other uh, drives. Here are some more benchmarks from AS SSD, again, showing you the IOPS, again, really high there on those operations per second on the transfer speeds the copy tests are also very high what i do like is running pc mark 8 because that gives us some software related benchmarks here depending on the type of software the amount of seconds that it takes to complete but the average storage bandwidth there is about 500 megs per second uh, which you know is quite high considering you know if you compare this to a standard ssd you know they're going to get less than that so I'm really uh, surprised that this new type of technology with the silicon motion is giving us such a high uh, performance. Look at here on ADA64, it's also giving us really high read and write results as you can see right there on the uh, linear, the random, and the performance tests here compared to other SSDs that are about 240 gigabytes in size. This one here is like, again, right out the roof. Three years warranty. Like I mentioned uh, earlier, these are positives. These are things that uh, really stand out, not just the blazing fast speed. It comes with a heat sink. Using the latest technologies in that Silicon Motion SM2263XT controller, brand new for 2018. And uh, I'll add the latest prices and the links to their website so you can take a closer look on how much they're offering this for. So if you're curious, the links are below in the description. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the Tech Last MP800C SSD. And again, thank you for watching.